Hello everyone! It's me again, Rose from the Philippines. Welcome to the 466th episode of Ganchillera, a show and tell of cliche and craft related items. So it's July 19, 2024. It's a Friday and I'm taking the privilege to make a video today to show you guys the items that I have been making. I'm kind of rushing some of them because I'm going to have them sent uh, this at night today to my friend and co-seller Alejandra. So I just want to show you before she gets sick from me. So I hope you have a fine time today and the weather is good also for crocheting. So that's, the, that's my introduction. So first off, I just want to share with you guys the embroidery items that I have been able to accomplish this time. So first off, I was able to make this sunflowers embroidery here using this embroidery hoop and some katcha fabric that mama put together. So I was watching some uh, stitches for embroidery from uh, Facebook. And I have learned how to make this ones here. So the center of the flower is made out of, if I'm not mistaken, French nut. And then I was able to make the leaves or the petals using that technique right there. And I added up some of this uh, type of plant here or type of flower here. So I was quite pleased with it and it's nice to have some alternate uh, thing to do every once in a while. And so I took out my other embroidery hoop which is a smaller one and decided to trace a flower pattern here. So maybe later on I will be able to work on this one. So it's just something that I can make on the side. The next one that I want to share with you, I kind of rushed last night because I thought that I needed to have it sent this morning. Uh, but Alejandra said that she will um, book the courier uh, late at night or maybe later. So I just want to show you right off. Yesterday, I was putting the third row. For this wind spinners right here so this is composed of 60 stitches and I increase up until the second round two per stitch and then for the last round I decided to just incorporate a simple single crochet without any without any increase so last night I was working on this and putting some uh, beads at the bottom part so it will hang low it will be stretched low and when the wind passes through this it goes around I don't know if I can show you but it twirls around once the wind hits it so this is the first one I was choosing between my scrap yarns for the third round so some of them has some variegated yarn to them and they also have this flower or leaves uh, bead at the bottom that Michelle they gifted me along with the wooden beads that I use for the uh, what do you call it lanterns that we made for from March. So I have two of them. I have made ten. So this is the third one with that bead at the bottom. This is the fourth one. Then this is the fifth. To continue on, this is the sixth one. one is the seven. I was able to use the yarns that I bought from my co-seller at the bazaar. The sale yarns. 
from Claudine. So this is another one with another type of bead. I was I had a problem putting the big beads at the bottom. At first I was um, inserting them through the uh, through the ends of the string but the holes of the beads are not that big so I decided to use a sewing thread and a smaller type of um, needle so that I can put those beads big beads at the bottom so those are the wind spinners and I'm gonna pack it later to send to Alejandra yesterday I was able to get my follow up for my ENT appointment uh, and he said that my ears is normal but he prescribed me some nasal spray that I can use as needed along with some medication and he also said that I can go back to him if I don't have any more problems uh, within a year so I can go back to him next July or maybe every six months so since I went there yesterday I decided to go to Dynomics again since it's just a walk going there and it's nice to walk every once in a while because recently I have been experiencing some palpitations so it's nice to walk every once in a while for exercise so when I was there, I was able to purchase some yarns. I really don't need these yarns for now, but I want to get inspired with crochet again. So I decided to purchase some. And these are variegated yarns. This one is a gradient yarn. I just want to try it out. I was able to buy some of this from before and make some knitted hats for Mavi. But I want to try it again, maybe make a tumbler holder out of it. And this is called Rainbow Cotton. And it has those, it goes like this when it is made. And this is 100 grams, 193 meters. And this colorway is called uh, Enchanted Forest. So I just want to get inspired, so I purchased some variegated yarns. I have a plan for it already. I'm gonna try to make a chevron bag again. So I'm gonna use these yarns along with some plain colored ones so that the design will pop. So I purchased two of each and this one is called just a label to it, Rainbow Sour. And then I have two in Sunlit Pebbles. And then the last two are called Starry Night. So I think these are going to be good for bags. So I'm going to experiment with it a bit. And since I needed to um, send Alejandra some items, I have been rummaging the items that I have on hand. And I decided to finish these items here and put some zip zippers to them so I'm gonna send her this beaded coin purse here it's just a two of this I was going to put some for the big pouch but I decided not to and I still have these pouches right here with some moss stitch designed to it these are the hand dyed yarns that I bought from a co-seller and the other day I decided to put zippers to it it is okay if I don't put lining because the the fabric or the item is thick enough. I was able to do that. And I have another one. So I have two of this. So I will send it to her uh, later. I have some progress with the turno for rain. And this is how the skirt came out. So this is the length that she required for me 19 and a half inches long so the only thing I needed to do is to weave in the ends inside and this past days I am figuring out the top so I am in the process of figuring out the sleeves part to it which needed to be like this 
So I'm thinking that I may have to put some felt cloth inside so that it will stick out. And I am thinking of the, uh, what do you call it, the shaping and also the size or the measurement if it is big enough. So I'm going to try to make another one with the uh, five rounds to it. I still have some of this made. So I'm thinking of maybe making another one. This is how it looks and I'm in the process of figuring out how to put it on the on the uh, front part of the top. So I am in that process right there. Figuring it out as I go. And since I am in the process of uh, putting together a package for Alejandra, I stumbled upon this uh, top right here. The first part is made already. I have this for a while now. So, I have decided to put it along with this other one here. So, I think this is the correct length for it when I put it together. So, what I needed to do next is just to put some rows this way. So, that will acquire the measurement for this one. So that I can put them together and turn, turn them into some type of top that looks like this other one here. So this one I'm a bit apprehensive to send to Melai or to Alejandra because I think I have some parts that is a bit dirty. I think uh, I was able to wash it but then... I'm hoping that it is not that visible so that I can send this one to her. I don't know if you can see. But there is some dirt that I catch on this part right here. So maybe I can just uh, send it to her and have it in a lower price. And since I am still rummaging my items, I found a bag. I was able to put a zipper to it, but I needed to sew a lining for this first before sewing the zipper. So I'm hoping to uh, do this later. And this Marcel still has this cell holder here. So I will send this also to, me to Alejandra to resell. And I have a calling card left I have this barefoot sandals here that I wasn't able to sell yet I have this pouch on this coin purse here this one I found a tutorial from Sharon Lee for this and the last one that I wanted to finish is this granny squares top right here I just needed to put it together, the two panels, in order for it to become a top. So, those are the items that I have put together. Nicole went upstairs the other day. She is asking for some strap uh, that she having made her, made out of three treble crochet using the Mercerized cotton thread. She said that she needed to use it as some type of belt for the back of it, her pants. And so when she was here, she gave me some books to read. <laughs> I think uh, Mitch Album is her favorite author. And she made me borrow her books. I already have Tuesdays with Maury. And she said that this one here is uh, nice read so I'm going to read this whenever I can <laughs> it may be interesting to read once in a while I wasn't able to read for some time now so maybe this is the time to do it again the last thing that I want to show you today are the hats that I needed to put the features on so these are the three hats and if you guys are interested, I have a tutorial on how to work on these hats right here. 
So I have a video showing you how to work on the base part along with the with this part right here. And this is going to be a frog hat. And I also have made a tutorial on how to work on the pictures and how to sew it to the base part. So I will put the link on the description box below if you guys are interested to make my hats. So I was already able to make the eyes for this one. I just needed to put it together and put some felt cloth inside. And then another tutorial that I have is this one. I think I have many um, views for this one already. And this is going to be a poo hat. And so I was able to work on the ears and I just needed to sew it to the base part of the hat. And the next one, I have three tutorials. I think this is the first one and it is a minion hat. So I already have a video on how to work on the eye part of it. So if you guys are interested, please do check out my tutorials here in YouTube. So those are most of the stuff that I want to share with you guys this week. I also put out this long ago top right here. I remember uh, wearing this on one of my podcasts. And I think I'm gonna send this to Alejandra too. She can have it resold. So I'm going to later on organize all of this and figure out a package for later. So I'm gonna let you guys go now. Mama is cooking our lunch and I'm quite hungry. I'm gonna be like streaming in Kumo later for 2 hours to achieve my quota so i'm gonna let you guys go now i wasn't able to use my uh, ring light anymore because it broke so the lighting is a little bit dim for now so i'm gonna let you guys go i'm hoping to have a live stream after several days just to catch up with you guys and i'm gonna edit this later so i'm gonna let you guys go for real now uh, thank you very much for always watching my videos and catching up with me. I hope you have a fine day crafting and some family bonding time. So that is it for me. Bye guys. God bless.